Hello everybody and welcome to part Zing Sitela We are on part two of um, African Finals. Uh, joining me again is Mr. Anna Mwenkala. We continue talking about uh, paintings um, and uh, the last time we were started talking about the paintings in Kemet. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Thank you so much uh, for inviting me. Yes, we, we, we uh, actually, actually, uh, uh, we 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 had ended uh, talking about uh, painting in Kemet. Yes. Oh, okay. So, the, so my my last part was that uh, we painted on on a dry uh, on a dry wall, which has been plastered. On dry plastered had, walls. Yes. Yeah. and it is pretty that that is one of the reasons why maybe uh, these paints. Uh, still exist up until today. You see? Okay. And also the fact that in, in Egypt is not a, a rainy place. It's, okay. It's so they were place. never washed off. Yes, they were never washed off. And then okay. another example again, <clears throat> we can we can talk about the, um, the sun people. The yes. sun people are very famous about uh, rock paintings. Am I yes. correct? Yes, cave, cave paintings. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So the so uh, yes, they they usually painted in in granite rocks. So we we refer to their their art as rock art. Okay. That's to. Yes, yes, yes. So the so I think the the oldest uh, known uh, rock uh, sun art is found in in. Blombos uh, Cave, which is about 30 kilometers east of Cape Town in South South Africa. Yes. So so the, the paintings there are believed to be 73,000 years old. So that, that, that's how old they are. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So yes. So they made paint by um they, they were mixing water they they, they, they also mixed the water with min, uh, minerals. You see, that that has been grinded into fine powder, just like the the Egyptians. You see? Okay. And yes, yes. And then they also had uh they 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 also mixed with uh binding agents. The binding agents, so that okay. Uh, so examples of binding agents are uh, is the um, okay water is also a binding agent, <laughs> and then um. You see this white part of an egg. You call that is it membrane? What? Uh, um, <laughs> I, I, I forget what part. Egg. <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> yes, but it, you, you, there is a yolk, right? Then there is that white yes. part. So yes, that, that yes. whiteness, that, yes. that whiteness of the egg. Yes. Yeah, so they will mix it also. So they will put it as a as a binding agent. Sometimes okay. they they. they they also put uh, urine as a binding agent, <laughs> and okay. then um, and then they also used um, the blood of an island. Do you remember when we were speaking of? I don't. I, I, I I'm not sure whether I spoke about this, but you can help me. When we were speaking of um, initiation schools, when we were speaking of initiation schools, I said that was it on initiation schools or. But I was for the city. I said that um, they use uh, the blood of an island, this antelope called the island, uh, to to purify themselves during the during initiation. Do you remember? Yes. Yes. So they also use so they they also use the blood of of the end because now it is going to be easy for me. To make you understand and, and also make the people who who have been following our podcast to understand. Okay. When I talk about the use of an island, this this anthropology, the, the, the island, the use of the blood of the island by, by the sun people, you see. So yes. even now we now feel uh using the blood of an island as a binding agent in their paint. So mm. I, I think that. Uh, you must also what must also come to your mind is that um, this type of blood is also <coughs> used in the belief system, right? 
So yes. you will see that in, in other words, their painting also has got a religious aspect. You see, I don't know why they apply a religious aspect. Yeah. And then uh black uh, so now when they wanted the black color, the black paint, they used uh charcoal. See, so they will grind charcoal. So okay. they use charcoal or manganese uh dioxide. And then white, white they used uh white clay. There's a white clay, and sometimes they use the beds dropping. You see the bed droppings. Yes. You see, they are sometimes they are like white. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Yes, 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 yes. And then they never used, um, I don't know why. Maybe we can ask, we, we are going to ask our viewers and our listeners. Maybe they're going to help, they're also going to help us. Uh, the sun people never used green and blue paints. You will never find a, a, a green paint. You will never find a green rock art. You will never find a blue rock art. Uh, it, or, or, uh, in in sand rock art, I don't know why they did not use uh, these colors, or maybe they are associated associated with the sky where their gods are believed to come from. I don't know, but um, they never used. But them. Are used. there are there some rock paintings from that time that are uh, from even after that have green and blue in other places? As in this, the sun paintings. No, no, no. I mean, in other places, can you find yes, uh, rock yes, art in with, uh, green and blue? Rock art, I oh. know the, the the only people that that I know, the only African groups that I know that have done rock art that I know are the the Sun people, if I can put it that way. I'm not sure okay. whether there are other. Groups. Yes. Oh, okay. But the but the Egyptians. Egyptians they used these colors, and oh, in, okay. in, in, in 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 many cases, it uh people in Kemet they will uh you see they will so people in Kemet they knew that if you mix this type of color and this color, blue is going to come out. You see, they okay. knew. Okay. Yes. So some of okay. these colors they will, they will mix these fine powders to come up okay. with a new. Yes. 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 Um, so I don't know the, the reason. I think maybe our listeners, our viewers, can help us. Why do they think the sun people did not choose green and blue? And blue, okay. Paint. Yes. Uh, and then um, they, when it comes to brushes, they used uh, bird feathers, uh, or oh. sometimes they will use animal hair. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So they did not paint with their <laughs> with their fingers. With grass, <laughs> like uh, <laughs> like the yeah. Kemi people did. Um, yeah, no, they they use bed feathers, yes, yes. And then another example. Do you still want other e e examples? Because you said bed feathers and uh, and what else? Animal hair. Any animal uh, okay. hair. Okay, animal hair. Okay. Do Do you still want more examples? Because of, yes. Of paints, <laughs> okay. Yes, no. So I can give you another, another celebrated uh, painting. Um, a rock pattern. painting. Not, no, no, no. I, I, I am done with rock painting. Oh. <laughs> rock painting, yes. Um, another uh, is the type of painting which is done by the Ndebele people. Do you, okay. do you remember I I said uh, there are many different groups which are referred to as the, the Ndebele people. Yes. You see, so we have we have got the Ndebele people in South Africa. Yeah. And we also have got the Ndebele people in Zimbabwe, right? Yeah. So these are two different. As much as they use different the same groups, name, yes. these yeah. are two different groups. Of course, yeah. they are both part of the Nguni groups, but two different groups. So yeah. So the most popular one. The most popular painting is the one done by the Ndebele people in South Africa. Yes. In Gwandi, really there. Yes, yes. So they paint um, geometric patterns with black lines and bold colors. Yes. So we are going to put uh, pictures um, in our YouTube uh, in our YouTube uh, episode so that people can see what we are talking about. You see. 
things. But those who are going to listen to Spotify um, and other and other uh, applications where there is only audio, the mother, the this beautiful geometric patterns with black lines and bold colors. Yes, very beautiful, very very beautiful. So the Ndebele people, they they use the paint. Their, their paint comes from clay and uh, cow dung and ashes. Those are some of the things that they use to make their paint, yes. Uh, sorry, and the then they one, use... It, it comes from... From clay. Oh, from clay. Yes, clay. Clay, yes. yes. <laughs> cow dung, uh, ashes, yes. Those are some of the examples, yes, yes. And then... Uh, they use chicken feathers as their brushes. Okay. Yes. And then <clears throat> in, in 1991, uh, there is a Ndebele female artist called Esther Mashang. Hey, I believe you, you know her, right? Esther Mashang. No. Oh, no. okay. okay. You, you have to know her. You have to know her. I love she's, a, she's an African icon. She's called Esther Mashangu. I'll uh, put some so, links to her. <laughs> yes. So she partnered with uh with the BMW company, this motor car, uh, this motor uh, car yes. yeah. company, BMW. Yeah. So she partnered, she partnered with BMW, and then to and then she she was allowed to draw, to paint actually, a BMW five series. In 1991, you see. Okay. So this painting is, so this paint, this yeah. So it's 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 something which became so famous. So okay. she, she 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 became so famous because of that. Yes, yes. So the 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 car is is known all over the world. That car which was painted with the Ndebele type of painting. So that is how many people in the world got to, to know about the Ndebele uh, type of painting. It, it okay. was true. Yes, yes. And in April 2018, April 2018, she was yeah. awarded. Uh, she was awarded uh, by the University of Johannesburg in South Africa with an honor, 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 a doctorate. Okay. You see. Yes. Yes. So she's a she's a a dignified person. Yes. Just Dr. Esther Mashang. Yes. yes, Dr. Esther Mashang. Yes. 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 And then even with us, the Ndebeles, the other Ndebele people, which is where yeah. we come from, right? <laughs> yeah. We, 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 the, we also paint, see? I believe you are going to agree with me on that, that we, we, we have seen hearts that have been painted yes. in a Ndebele yeah. pattern. Yes. Yeah. So you, you, you will find a certain type of a community having a, a certain pattern, mm. you see? Uh, painting, yes, yes. So we, we so in the middle it's called Ugu Kutula. Yeah, yeah. Ugu Kutula, yeah. Yes, yes. And it's very popular in my, uh, around my Topo area in Zimbabwe. Okay. If you go there, yes, people are very active there. To, uh, another reason is because there is an annual competition. There is an annual painting competition whereby okay. I, I know uh the the historian Patisa Nyati is part of the competition he's running the competition with other uh, non governmental organizations i think um the art gallery of of Bulawayo is also part of that it is also funding that competition so there's a competition okay. in, in in Matopo area where uh, villagers they 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 compete on who uh, on this, there is a painting com a competition whereby you, you have to paint your heart, and then yes. the, the judges come and say, "This is the first, the, sorry, the, this is the winner." Yes, okay. and then they applause. They, they win. One of the things that they win is a a, a, a tank, a water tank. Yes, I know okay. there's a water tank. Yes, yes, yes. So, so, so now, uh, the painting. In Ndebele culture, it was more of a, or should I say, it is more of a, 
so I can refer to it as something like a spring cleaning, if I am calling that way. Yes, it's more like a, it is because yeah. Um, yeah. That they why you see they if you have realized they, they like to paint flowers. Have you ever seen that? Yes, yes. Because flowers because flowers uh are uh are, are associated with spring. With spring, yes. See? Yeah. So in other words, painting is also used is also being used to I can say to refurbish or to renovate houses or homesteads, you see. So it is not just about beauty. It is also a way to renovate. Yes. So in other words, the, their hearts are being re renovated every year, you see, yes. through painting. Mm -hmm. yeah. yes. So before, what, what is going to happen is before you paint, you first have to patch um, uh, the hole, the holes. With, yes. with, yeah, so the hearts are made of, the hearts are made of mud, right? Yes. So, or clay, yes. So now you have to patch with uh, wet clay from there, and then you also have to plaster. You have yes. to plaster with clay, yes, water clay. From there, it is where now you paint. So you see, before you paint, you 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 have to to renovate. Yes. So it's a so you see so at the end of the day. It's not just about beauty, it's about renovation. <laughs> yes, and it's also yes. about fashion and trends. Maybe next year, this year, something yes. is the trend the other and what was last year. Yes, yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. Yeah. So that, that's it about painting in, in Africa. Okay. <laughs> yes. So now we go to the third category, which is, um, I refer it to, I, 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 I refer to it as statues and sculptures. Okay. I think you, you get the picture. Statues yes. and sculptures, yes. Yeah. So they are you you usually made of um carving stones or wood or by casting metal. Yeah. That, that's what they are they are made of. The statues and the sculptures. Yeah. Yes. So they also represent that, that, like 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 I said, people must always put in keep in mind that these things are not just only for beauty; they are also for for they other cultural objects. You see? Yes. 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 So you so you will see that some of the statues. I don't want to use the word scary. <laughs> they are called strange. They are strange. Um. But you know there is this type of art called uh, avant-garde, right? Yes, avant-garde, so, yes. Avant-garde, yes, avant-garde, yeah. So people who, people who understand such kind of art, they love mm. this kind of... <laughs> they see it as beauty. <laughs> but, the, but the reason why Africans were doing this kind of strange statues and sculptures I don't think it has got to do with beauty. Mm. Well, beauty is, beauty is beauty, but they were trying to portray something. For example, let's say if it, it is a statue which represents a certain god, so they will do a statue that will make someone have a picture of how can that god be like. Because re re remember, gods, they are spiritual. So yes. a statue is just a visual thing, just to make someone have a, a picture. So this is why these statues and sculptures, some, some of them, they are being for idolatry. We, we spoke about idolatry when we were speaking about African religion. Do you remember, right? Yes. Some people speak about idolatry. But, but people must know that most of these statues, they are for idolatry uh, reasons. Yes, yes. yes. And <clears throat> there is a, a, a example of a statue uh, Thema statue. Um, let me think of one. Or oh, we 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 have got the Great Sphinx. You, you know the Great Sphinx of of, of yes. Giza, right? Yes. I think almost everyone knows that. Yes, it's, it's, it's found in in Egypt. So this Great Sphinx is a statue. It's a big step of um. It's an animal. It is more like a lion, but with the head of a human being. That is, you see. 
So someone will put it, but it depicts something that is religious, you see. Yes. It's got nothing to do with beauty. No, no. It's got everything to do with religion. With religion. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. <clears throat> yes. And then we have so, and then many sculptures are found, or they are from, um, they are from West Africa, West Africa, and because of idolatry, yes. And then so stone, right? Um, that are being used to make statues. We've got stone. We've got sandstone. Those are, are soft stones. Hard uh, examples of hard, ro uh, hard rocks. Um, we have got the granite, the mm -hmm. basalt, and quartz. Yes, 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 yes. So metal. When you speak of metal. <laughs> To make uh, uh, sculptures and statues, um, uh, uh, some which are made of bronze. Bronze. So pr bronze. Some of the communities, what they used to do is they will they will mix tin and copper to to come up with 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 bronze. Yes. So um, you you remember we said in Kemet. We don't have any. They never applied gold. Do you? Do you? Yes. Do you remember when we said yes. that? Because in gold is sacred. Yes. Yes. So this is why it is hard. It is hard to find any statue made of gold or any sculpture which has been coated with gold. You see, but in in other places like Ashant, like the in other places like in Ghana. We said in Ghana they, we have got the Ashanti people. Do you remember about the Ashanti yes. people? We've spoken a lot, lot about them, right? Mm -hmm. Are we together? Yes. Hello? Yes. Yes. The so Ashanti, the yes. Ashanti people, they, yes. If you I don't know whether we have spoken about this, I'm not sure, but I don't think we have spoken about it. Actually, Ghana was Ghana was called the Gold Coast. Do yes. you know that? Yes. Yes. So so you see, so so there's great emphasis of gold there in time. And the Ashanti people, they're also from gold. I think there's an, I think there's also a multi national called the anti gold. Am I correct? I think there's such a company, right? Yeah, Ashanti gold. Uh, yes. I've heard of Ashanti gold. Uh, I can't remember where I've heard. Yes, it's a multi it's a multinational company. It's more like, uh, uh, do you see the companies like Rio Tinto? You see Anglo-American. Those are companies that mine gold or minerals around the world, right? Mm -hmm. um, yes, I think there's Ashanti Gold. What, what I'm trying to say is there is why there might be a company called Ashanti Gold. Yeah. You see, Ashanti is associated with gold because of the gold cost. I think you, you get what I'm trying to say, right? Yes, yes, it was called the Gold Coast, wasn't it? Yes. Yes, yes. So among the Ashanti people, um, they have got a, a gold stool. They have called a stool. Uh, they refer to it as a sacred throne. So that, that stool is for the king, right? So it's, it's a sacred stool. So yes, yes. So now they are stool. So a stool is also an artifact, right? Yes. Or it is also part of fine art, right? So their stool is made of gold. Mm. Their sacred throne is made of gold, yes. So there are many stories. Um, it is believed that it, it, it came from heaven. Um, so now peop some people will steal it, like the colonists, European colonists, they will steal it. So it's a very sensitive, um, or it, it, it is of sentimental value such that if you want to fight with the Ashanti people, you just steal their Golden stool, if I can put it that way. <laughs> yeah. So it's one, one uh, artifact which is made of gold. There is also, there was also a kingdom, I can say a kingdom, which was called Mapungu Boy. In the uh, excavations of Mapungu Boy kingdom in, in South Africa. I think you, you, you have heard of such a kingdom, right? 
Oh, okay. Wow. Great. Mm. So in 1934, they found a, I can call it a sculpture. Mm -hmm. I think it was a wooden sculpture which has been coated with gold. So it, it, it is called the Golden Rhino. You see, it's a very famous um, uh, ima uh, image. You see, so it's a sign that there are commu there are African communities that do not use gold uh, for in their sculptures or in their statues, and then there are also other African communities that used use gold in their artifacts. Yes, mm. yes. So, Kemet is, a, is an example of a community which has not used gold. And then Ashanti is an example of a community which uses gold. Yes. <clears throat> and then now we come to, to the fourth category. Mm. Uh, do you want to say something? You seem to want to say no, no, something. No, that's okay. That's <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Okay. So, we can go to, to the fourth, right? Yes. Okay, so these are just, uh, these are mask, mask. So I, I I didn't know whether I should put mask as part of sculptures, <laughs> but I, I just said let me just put mask in their in their own category. Okay. <laughs> so we have spoken much about mask, so it is going to be easy for us to understand this category. So we say that. Do you remember we say that? Actually, in many cases, when we, we have been speaking about mask, they are associated with West Africa. Have and, you realized that? Yes. And religious practices. We spoke about the way. Sorry? And religion, in, in relation to religion yeah. in West Africa. Yes, we spoke about that. We, 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 when we were speaking of um, initiation schools, we spoke about them. When yes. we were speaking of secret so, so, societies. Yes. When we said they are associated with previous, we spoke about them, yes. yes. All that was in, in, in West Africa. Mm -hmm. So they are usually made of wood, uh, this mask. Of course, there are some which are also made of bronze, brass, copper, um, ivory, yeah, pottery, grass, you, you name it, yes, yes. But the reason why some of them they are made of wood is because wood is this is more accessible, right? So there is easy access to wood than minerals, you see? And also, uh, you see, in, in Africa, or should I say some African, actually many African communities, they believe that trees have souls, you see? Um, like they believe that trees can breathe, they can, you know, they can think, they've got souls, like we too, okay. like we human beings. Okay. Which is why some people believe that trees they've got they they are they are used for curing diseases, you see. So um so now so now the use of the wood is like you are drawing the that the energy of the soul of that tree, you see. So this mask, so there are certain trees that are being used to make these certain masks, you see. Because of the fact that trees are believed to have spiritual energy, you see. So wh whatever the reason that person is wearing that mask may sometimes be associated with the with the energy of the type of tree that has been used to make that that mask. Okay. You see, which is the other reason why they use um, wood. And uh, yes, yes. And they also have got, if you, you have realized, most of these masks, they have got very strange faces. Have you ever realized that also? Yes. <laughs> and uh, so now, um, what happened was, during colonization, there are many artifacts, that is sculptures, statues, and masks that were created by European uh, imperialists and some of them they found themselves in private homes they with you know most of these european uh colonists or should i say, should i say people were europeans who were involved in colonization most of them they were rich 
So they 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 had estates there in Europe. So they will display some of these looted um, artifacts in their homes, okay. and some of them they auctioned. Some of them they were being auctioned, and then they were bought by museums. You see, so if you go to many you to, to some European museum, you will find stolen artifacts from Africa. So there's a lot of stolen fine art because these these artifacts were not taken with the consent of Africans. They were taken as trophies of war, you see. I don't know whether it is because the European colonists, they were trying to, to distance the African people from their religion, or maybe it's because of the, these strange faces. <laughs> I'm not really sure about that. Okay, so it's like right. the, the famous Benin bronzes. Yes, the famous Benin bronzes. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you for that. That is an, an example. <clears throat> and some of these um, um, are now being some 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 African communities that advocating for for the uh. Artifacts, yes, yes, yes. So some of these Benin bronzes, I think they have been brought back. Some, some, some of them, especially these ones, which are in museums, they are actually in 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 trap. <laughs> you see, yeah. because of political uh, because of this political correctness, they are now forced to uh, take them back to the right owners. Yes, yes. But these ones, which are but these is which are found in private homes. Mm. Some of some of them, I think, they have gone for good. And what makes it even worse is that you see some of these uh, estates or these large um, houses of in Europe, when they are, you know, some of them, um, you know, they've been inherited by. You will find that maybe they in, in, inherited by one family, right, from generation to generation to generation, and then. When someone inherits, so in, 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 in Europe, when someone inherits, let's say, a, a property, right? Yeah. That person must pay in, in inheritance tax, right? Yeah. But I don't think, I don't think that people who have got such, who have got these African artifacts that have been stolen, I don't think they, they, they report to the, the, to, to, to the taxpayers. Because most of them they are very expensive, very very expensive. I don't think they are telling the the taxpayers that they, they have got those um, uh, artifacts because they are going to pay a lot of tax. They are going to pay a lot of tax, <laughs> and maybe some of them they they, they they don't want to be known that they they they, they have got these. Uh, they they inherited uh, stolen artifacts from 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 Africa. Yes. Yeah. But I know the um I, I know there are efforts to to return back this uh, because they belong to to Africa. Yes. And in Europe, now speaking of those that are found in museums, speaking of those, because of uh, this avant-garde, you know, uh I, I don't know why I am finding it so hard to understand this form of art avant-garde. <laughs> because sometimes you will find it very expensive. And when I look at it, I try by all means to understand it. I don't know why I am trying to understand it. Maybe but, because, um, but like no. we said uh, to Sorry? With, uh, that art is something to look at and we've never, Africa doesn't have a culture of displaying things. Of beauty. Yes. 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 So, so, so as an African, you know, to me, like you know, I think you, you actually help, help, helped me. To me, these things they are more of functional and beauty. But with Europeans, to them, I think this type there is this such beauty and decoration and you know. <laughs> so we have to find yeah, out so, from so the so fascinating about avant-garde yeah. art. Yeah. 
So now these type of artifacts that were these African types of artif these artifacts, or should I say this um African fine art materials that were looted in Africa by Euro Euro European colonists. And these artifacts were never meant for beauty. So now when they found themselves in museums, that is where now some people got inspired, you see, to uh, actually now they, they inspired uh your your European um uh or art. Artists. So now there is a yeah, so now there is a form of avant-garde called um because I hear it is in more in, in different uh, genres, right? So there's a avant-garde uh, genre called uh cubism. I don't know whether you know about it. Cube uh, cubism. I don't cubism, know. Cubism cubism is in you you yeah so cubism as in c u b i s m cubism you must go and find it out you must go and find out about this one so is it began in 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 paris because yeah france france was very very much involved in in possession of african uh, uh, african states so there was a lot of looting from france by france you see so now so this cubism is from France by um, uh, Pablo Picasso and someone, I forget the other person. So now, uh, so so they were inspired by these faces, these faces that you see on the mask. To them, they see, saw this avant They saw what we Africans don't see. And then they used that to come up with a new of avant-garde called cubism so it, it, okay. it was inspired by the mask yes okay. and i've been going through that cubism trying to understand it I, I am embarrassed to say that i failed to understand it mm -hmm. <laughs> to come <compliment> for me <laughs> so okay now, that brings us to the end of uh part two of african fine art <laughs> Join us again for yeah. part three with the, with Mr. Arnold Maibong and Gala. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. All right. All right. To Mr. Arnold Maibong and Gala, thank you very much. And to you for listening. We appreciate your support. If you enjoyed today's podcast, please don't forget to like, um, subscribe on YouTube, follow us on Spotify and iTunes and all the other places that you get your podcast from. Thank you.